If you're choosing a high-end, big-screened Android phone anytime soon, chances are these two will be on your shortlist, the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus and the Google Pixel 2 XL. These are two similarly capable, similarly expensive phones that do things very differently. But before we begin, bear in mind this is just a first look comparison. It's too early to go into a detailed analysis, but be sure to subscribe to Android Central here on YouTube for more Galaxy S9 coverage and comparisons in the near future. First, physical size. The footprint of both phones is roughly the same, though the Galaxy S9 Plus manages to fit in a slightly taller, slightly larger display with a 6.2 inch diagonal versus the Pixel's 6 inches. Display quality also favours Samsung. DisplayMate recently ranked the S9 Plus's panel as the best phone display overall. Meanwhile, the Pixel 2 XL has well-documented issues with its P-OLED screen, which is only average by comparison. The in-hand feel of both phones is also wildly different despite the similar footprint and thickness. I want to say the S9 Plus is a little easier to one-hand thanks to its curved sides in all directions, and the helpful one-handed mode gesture in Samsung's software. The Pixel's angular nature makes it a little tougher to use without drafting in a second hand. Google's phone has excellent front-facing speakers but misses out on the standard headphone jack offered by the S9 Plus, and this time Samsung has also upgraded its speaker setup with stereo capabilities by combining the earpiece speaker with a bottom firing woofer. Internal specs are a generation apart though. The S9 Plus runs Qualcomm's new Snapdragon 845 in the US and an equivalent Exynos processor elsewhere, with 6 gigs of RAM up from the 4 gigs of the Pixel 2. And Samsung also offers you expandable storage via an SD card. On the Google side, you'll need to pay through the nose for the extra internal storage through the 128GB model. Battery capacities are almost identical with a 3520mAh battery in the Pixel and 3500 in the S9 Plus. It's too early for any detailed comparisons of longevity, but the numbers suggest that battery life should be comparable and we'll just have to wait and see how much more efficient the new 845 chip turns out to be. It's no surprise that both models are extremely quick and performant, and while Samsung wins on sheer horsepower thanks to newer internals, the Pixel still holds up really well on the older Snapdragon 835. The bigger difference is the user experience on offer. Samsung finally puts its fingerprint scanner in a sensible place on the S9 Plus, while also offering you iris scanning and face unlock as alternatives, features that you won't find on the Pixel. The Samsung software experience is also completely different from what's on Google's more svelte Pixel UI. It's got a more sci-fi aesthetic to it, and it's much more feature-dense as well. That means there's more you can do with it, but arguably also more cruff to get in the way, like Samsung's Bixby Assistant, which still struggles to be useful. Google's software experience is built around Google Assistant, which is a much more mature product at this point. As much as I like most of what Samsung's done with Android, the Pixel 2 XL is always going to be front of the line for software updates, with Google promising speedy platform updates right through until Android R in 2020. Good luck getting that on your S9 Plus anywhere near as quickly. Samsung has the advantage of a second camera on the S9 Plus, whereas the Pixel 2 relies on computational wizardry to do portrait modes with just a single shooter. You'll definitely get better telephoto shots out of the S9 Plus by virtue of its dedicated telephoto lens. I'm not the biggest fan of camera benchmarks and we'll have more detailed analysis later, but the early scores of Samsung's new main camera also look really promising, with the phone being awarded a 99 score on DxOMark. That said, the Pixel's still really close, scoring a 98. These are two fantastic phones and we'll have much more to say when we're allowed to say more in our full comparison, so stay tuned to Android Central and subscribe for all of our other GS9 videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.